What's up guys, Brown Man again. I'm going to show you how to get the five new downloadable content achievements in Madden 2010 AFL Legacy Pack. I'm going to show you how to get it. If you're wondering, my NXE, NXE wallpaper I downloaded from AchievementHunter.com, Respawn Radio, my favorite gaming podcast at the moment, Knuckles Dawson, 8-Bit Bass, Lano, they do a great job. You should check it out on iTunes or the Zune Marketplace. Anyway, just showing you where to download it. NFL, excuse me, AFL Legacy Pack. It's like 560 points, some random number like that. Just download it and then we'll be on our way. Here we are now. First team we're going for is Blast from the Past, which requires you to win an AFL themed Mana Moments with AFL presentation turned on. So here we go. Just go to Mana Moments. It's pretty simple to find, just follow where I went. And uh, the Mana Moment you want to go to are toward the top. There's some five new ones and you'll know they're AFL themed because they're black and white. The very top one is a little bit difficult. So I suggest going to the second one. Second one, you just uh, you're in overtime, and you pretty much gotta win the game. So it's pretty simple. And uh, here it is, the end of the game. As you can see, I'm in overtime. I drove the ball down the field. Got some time left over, but you know why even bother for going for a touchdown where field goal will win it. Here I am, gonna kick the field goal. Doof. Cool little cinematic view through the uprights. Field goal. I win, Madam Moment success, achievement unlocked, blast from the motherfucking past. Alright, one down, four to go. Next two achievements we're going for are for Orange Sherbert Anybody, which requires you to win an exhibition game with AFL presentation turned on. And AFL, ooh, excuse me, went too far. And the ultimate 10 point swing, which is return if you'll go for a touchdown with AFL presentation turned on. So, you saw right there, that's me hitting the right trigger to activate the AFL presentation mode or whatever. So, as you can see, normal and AFL. I chose the Chargers and the Raiders because they're both AFL teams. Other teams include, as you know, the uh, the Titans, the Chiefs, and the Patriots. There's three more that I just can't recall, unfortunately. But just for the sake of this, I'm going to use the Chargers and the Raiders. Use a two-controller method to help out for the field goal. And uh, the field goal attempt took multiple tries because if the... If during the field goal, if the ball hits the ground, it just counts as a missed field goal. So this is like, I don't know, my 12th attempt maybe. Using my second controller, kicking the field goal. I have the returner right there, just get the ball. Oh, there you go. The Chargers are a good team because their kick returner, uh, Sproles, is rather quick. Roll to the left, a little busy over there. I'm just going to head to the right. I'm just going to outrun everybody. And there you go. Woohoo! Just like that. The ultimate 10 point swing. Like I said, it may take a few tries, it may take one try, but that's the easiest way to do it to my knowledge. And if you want, put Ultimate Rewinds on, I forgot to do it there, unfortunately. And uh, here we go, this is the end of the game, and yeah, that's it. Also, important thing I forgot to mention, make sure you have it on 5 Minute Quarters, All Pro, for both controllers. If you only have it on Player 1 and not Player 2, you're not going to get the field goal thing, so make sure you have it on. And that's those two achievements. Alright, next achievement is AFL Invades Franchise Mode. Gonna go to uh, Franchise Mode there. And we're gonna pick the Chargers because the very first regular season game is against the Raiders in an AFL-esque match. So, it makes things even easier. And it says nothing about difficulty or quarter length. So, I set the quarter length to one minute and at the bottom I put Accelerate Clock Runoff to 25 seconds to make it go even faster because, you know, I'm trying to get these as fast as possible and be in my merry way. So, when you get to this menu, I go to settings just to double check, you know, everything went through. And to see if I can change my difficulty because my, my mindset is it's also to be on all pro, even though it doesn't say it. But, as you can, as you can see, settings saved. Go to team schedule. Now, this is the preseason schedule. This doesn't matter at all. So, just go to the bottom one, hit A. Yes, simulate all remaining games. Or excuse me, hit start. I'm just going to speed this up because this kind of takes a minute or two. It's unfortunate. Do 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 do. Look at the music go faster. All right, no, don't want to import draft class. All right, that's the regular season. So, as you can see, the first game's against the Raiders. You see the AFL uh, symbols and the little AFL red circle thing in the middle. And you pretty much just want to play this game. And that's it. Play it and win. So, simulating all the other teams, season one, or excuse me, week one. Player one, go left. Player two, go right to the Raiders. And, uh, 
hit A on both. Uh, hit okay, okay, or I'm gonna hit B. That works too. All right, hit A. Trigger to the right. I put it on all pro once again to be safe. Rewinds unlimited, just in case something goes wrong. Double check. Hit A. And uh, random SCD is gonna sign on. Gotta watch out for those. And uh, this is just the end of the game. I played it like any normal game, using the second controller for some help. Time's gonna run out. And uh, that's it. 30 more gamer score. AFL invades franchise mode. Another easy one. I think I showed you the hardest achievement already, which was the field goal one. Everything is pretty easy. I honestly didn't think I was going to do a recording for the other ones, but I caught footage, so, you know, why not? Alright, last one. AFL goes online. And this requires you to play an online game wearing AFL jerseys. Five minute quarters, all pro, just like every single goddamn achievement in this game. So here we go. Now this is my second this is my second game. I recorded the first one, but I I, I did use AFL jerseys. I was the uh, Raiders and the game went into overtime and I lost the game, but like that doesn't say anything in the achievement description, so maybe going into overtime messed it up somehow. The guy stood through I don't know. So, if you can, maybe it was just a fluke, but just avoid overtime. I mean, just throw the game if you have to. Who cares? I'm sure your opponent will take the win. But, as you can see here, I was in custom games. So I'm going to go to create session because I can't read and I'm an idiot. And I dur 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 dur. All right, here we go. Creating a session. Unranked. Five minutes. All pro. Accelerated clock. 25 seconds. And this is the perfect setting. Just create a new session. I'm going against this uh, chap here, uh, GC1114. I don't even remember who he picks. I'm going to pick the Chargers. If I could find them, that'd be great. It's only in alphabetical order. There you go. Chargers. Uh, change your uniform. Make sure it's either AFL home or AFL away. As long as it says AFL, you should be good. And I play the game normally. And at one point, I was doing fairly well. And the guy left the game. So I was... When somebody leaves the game, you're given the option to play against the computer or just quit the game altogether. If somebody leaves, just resume a game against the computer as I did here. And I just played the game normally. Fortunately, I won. Once again, doesn't make a difference. And that's pretty much it. I mean, what else can I say? That's all you got to do. And AFL goes online. Look at that, guys. All five achievements, 150 gamer score. This took me about an hour and a half. It may take you longer, shorter, but who cares? They're achievements. They're easy. Achievementhunter.com. Best site on the fucking internet. Go there. Now. I command you. Woo!